Number 26, in a common but dangerous prank, a chair is pulled away as a person is moving downward to sit on it, causing the victim to land hard on the floor. Suppose the victim falls by 0.5 meters, the mass that moves downwards is 70 kilograms and the collision on the floor lasts 0.082 seconds. What are the magnitudes of the impulse and average force acting on the victim from the floor during the collision? So it's easier if you imagine that it is a ball hitting the floor. So the ball starts falling. We have a height of 0.5 meters, so this is 0.5 meters. And then we try to find the impulse and the average force in this ball. So it's easier to understand what's happening. So the impulse is equal to the change in the momentum, which is equal to mass times the change in the velocity, or the speed rather. So when the ball hits the floor, it stays on the floor, so the final speed is zero, and the initial speed is the speed exactly when the ball hit the floor. So we have to calculate the speed when the ball hits the floor over here. So we are going to use energy conservation to calculate the speed but you could use any technique that you want so over here we have potential energy gravitational potential energy given by m g times h and this potential energy becomes kinetic energy m v squared over 2 so we can cross the mass out and we can isolate the speed so the speed is equal to the square root of 2 times g h and in this case it's the square root of 2 times 9.8 times 0 0.5 and this gives us roughly 3.1 meters per second okay so now we can calculate the impulse so the impulse is equal to mass times delta v which is equal to the change in the speed so it is from 3.1 to 0 so the absolute value of the change is 3.1 so the mass is equal to 70 times 3.1 which gives us roughly 2.2 times 10 squared newtons second okay so that's the answer of letter a letter b the average force so we know that the impulse is equal to the average force times delta t so the average force is equal to the impulse over delta t so this is equal to 2.2 times 10 squared over 0 0.082 and this gives us roughly 2.7 times 10 cubed newtons and that's the answer of this exercise